Roswell Flight Test Crew, here today to take a look at a line of strobe lights made specifically for drones by North American Survival Systems. And we're also going to test my theory that strobes can be useful for daytime flying, as well as flying at night. This episode is brought to you by the Academy of Model Aeronautics. More than 80 years of protecting our rights to fly, and now offering commercial drone insurance, including hull coverage and up to $2 million in liability protection, exclusively for AMA members. North American Survival Systems offers a variety of different colors in its DS-30-1 strobe line. There's the classic white, as well as red, blue, and green. And there's also an infrared option. Now be aware the infrared strobe does not actually generate any visible light, so it's not appropriate for general purpose flying. You'll want to use an infrared strobe if you're flying where manned aircraft pilots are likely to be using night vision gear. Visible light strobes don't show up in NVG, making your drone basically invisible for these pilots. Regardless of which color is appropriate for your environment, the setup is the same. The strobe comes with bare wires, which you'll need to connect to a battery. It accepts an input voltage between 4.5 and 11 volts. For just a couple of bucks on Amazon, I picked up a lifetime supply of these 9 volt connectors. You can solder the two together, crimp them, or just intertwine them and wrap it up with electrical tape. Just remember, red to red, black to black. When it comes to attaching the strobe and battery to your drone, make sure the wires are well away from any moving parts, and also make sure it's attached securely. If the strobe separates, the wire could get caught in your propellers, and that's a bad day. If you're like me and you're looking for a more self-contained solution, then check out the North American Survival Systems EF-20A-1 Electronic Flare. Built for the maritime industry, it looks like a rugged, compact flashlight. It's push-button operated and fully waterproof. Now, let's go see how these perform in the field. So by this point, it should go without saying that anti-collision lighting is a requirement for commercial night flying operations. And these North American Survival System strobes are going to fulfill those requirements if you're going for your daylight waiver. What I'm curious about is, if we put a strobe on our drone during daylight hours, will that extend our visual line of sight? It sure makes sense we could see it further away. Let's do a test and find out. So today's a pretty good day to do this test. We've got clouds overhead, but the lowest of them is 4,000 feet above ground level, and we've got more than 10 statute miles of visibility. So I'm using a DJI Mavic for this test. It's a relatively small airframe, so it should pass out a visual line of sight fairly soon. I'm going to point the aircraft back towards myself, so you can see how far I get before I lose visual line of sight. On this first flight, I'm taking her up with no strobe attack to establish a baseline for our test. Okay, that's it. I'm 300 feet AGL and about 2,500 feet downrange. And that's pretty consistent with what I've seen other times I've done long distance flying and the aircraft is just a barely discernible dot. I'm gonna go ahead and bring her home right now. So now, I'm going to fly the exact same flight profile again, except I'm going to have a strobe on board the aircraft. Now I should be able to see the strobe much further away than just the bare aircraft, so let's find out. Alright, so that is about as far as I feel comfortable taking it. Uh, okay, 300 feet, and wow, 4,700 feet downrange. That's pretty impressive, almost double the range to still have visual line of sight with the aircraft. And there are a couple of other advantages too. First of all, it's easier to pick up the aircraft if you happen to look away for a second. Even when you're at closer ranges, the strobe makes it highly evident where it is. And of course, another huge advantage is that other aircraft, manned aircraft operating in the vicinity, are gonna have a much easier time seeing it as well. So daylight strobe operations, Good idea, I'd say. So that was our look at the North American Survival System strobes, as well as a couple of good reasons you don't have to wait till it gets dark outside to use them. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Fly safe.